And while the earth is warming globally, the impacts vary depending on where you live. Yeah, and meteorologist Anthony Anas is here now exploring the two biggest concerns we have here in Southern California. Yeah, we really live in a unique part of the world. We have the Pacific Ocean that's just off to the west of us. We also have deserts to our east and changes to both of these areas is having an impact. 70% of the planet is covered by ocean and most of global warming is actually in the ocean. 93% of the heat of global warming is absorbed into, this, into, the, into the ocean and, and we don't see it or feel it or touch it every day. Scientists from JPL, the Jet Propulsion Lab in Pasadena, are at the forefront of climate research, studying the atmosphere, the land and ocean with the goal of predicting future changes. When we simulate Earth's climate today, the only way we can reproduce what we observe in terms of global temperature patterns around the planet is if we include greenhouse gases. Greenhouse gases are the problem because they trap heat. According to climatologists, that heat in turn impacts global temperatures. Greenhouse gas levels that are rising because of human activity. And specifically for us in Southern California, snowpack and sea levels are two big concerns. The sea level rise in California is much lower than the rest of the world, but a new study by nonprofit researchers at Climate Central found that rising sea levels will drastically impact Southern California. It found that the West Coast would be impacted by melting ice at both poles, with the Antarctic having a greater influence. The gravitational pull of the Earth would draw that water north towards us local sea level could rise by five feet, with the worst case scenario, 10 feet, turning Long Beach from a city that looks like this today to this in the year 2100. But how do scientists know this? Ian Fenty, as well as others in the field, use climate models, which are different than the weather models a meteorologist like myself uses. They also include the full ocean circulation, and the polar ice sheets and sea ice. On the timescales of centuries to thousands of years, the ocean and the ice sheets are really what drive some of the biggest changes that, are, that the planet is going through with global warming. Precipitation extremes have always been an issue for our state, but when we do get snow in places like the Sierra Nevada mountains, we rely on a cold winter to keep the snowpack in place. We've seen changes in how long the snow lasts in the mountains in the winter. When the snow melts earlier or less snow falls because it's warmer, we have less water uh, flowing down into our reservoirs. Less water in our reservoirs would affect all agricultural activities and farmers throughout the state, as well as, well, everyone. And we depend on those reservoirs for drinking water here in Southern California. And research is currently being done right now on climate change's effect on West Coast wildfires, air quality, and also atmospheric rivers. Wow, interesting stuff, Anthony. Wow. Thanks for that. Okay.